You have a hair band on. Um, because I was just talking about it before you walked in. College HCC Frenzy Presents event in Toronto that I was invited to. I've been invited to the past three events. This is my third one going and it's always so much fun. It's basically where they tell you all of the like upcoming releases and like what books are going to be coming out. So this is the fall preview presents and I am so excited because it means that I get to see Julia from Julia Sapphire and Zoe from Your Book Nerd Zoe who I see like twice a year because of these events and I just love them both so much so I'm really excited so I'm about to go drive to the go station to get on the train to go out to lunch with Zoe and Julia because you know just want to spend time with them so that's the plan I don't know how much I'll vlog because I always suck at vlogging at these things because I always just get really excited and forget so hopefully there will be clips after this if not you guys will never see this clip because I'm not gonna you know film anything thing and then there won't be a vlog but hopefully we remember so I'm gonna go drive now and I will catch you guys hopefully at the event hi <laughs> Zoe say hi Danny say hi Danny's husband say hi <laughs> Yay. sections and prose as well and Jasmine also has done some two color illustrations throughout the book um, so if you are a fan of Elizabeth Acevedo or Rupi Kaur you need to read this um, I will let Jasmine tell you more about it but it, it tackles so many tough things and with such finesse um, she talks about undocumented immigration she talks about mental health sexual abuse um, and it is it's Incredible. I ripped through it and I immediately had to pick it up and start again because it's one of those books that begs that kind of thing. So I'm going to let Jasmine talk to you. Um, yeah, so enjoy. Hi guys. He tells me he doesn't care about politics and I've lost. I am a brown woman born on land, stolen, sacrificed, and then silenced. I am a brown woman born into a body that churns heads that only house glares. Glares that ask me to leave, mouths that spit blood towards my kind, hands and fists and forces that want to push me back to where I come from. While where I come from screams in ways that go unheard. Where I come from is buried under blistering earth and burning mines. There is set aflame by a state that brings kerosene instead of water when my people are thirsty. Where I come from is being dug out of the dried soil by people young enough and old enough to demand more than justice from those who have tried and failed to crush them. He tells me he doesn't care about politics and I wonder if he can see the political boundaries on my body, the conflict zones between my shoulder blades, the border built between my tongue and me, the partition carved into my palms. All the ways in which it is political for me to live. Okay, so it's actually the next day after the event, but by the time I got home, it was like way too dark to film anything, so we're filming it the next day. So I thought I would show you guys the swag bag that we got from the event. So it's like an Epic Reads tote bag. For the past two events, we've gotten the same tote bag, so it's kind of really exciting that we got a new one. But there's lots of goodies in here, so I'm just gonna dump them out. We'll start with the swag items first, and then I'll show you guys the arcs that I got. I got five arcs, which I'm super excited about. There's two mystery pack, like, pins from the Three Dark Crown series, and it's supposed to be, like, you get a different crown for every pin. I ended up getting both Poisoner Queen 
pins so I mean that sucks that they're the same but also she's my favorite so I'm not really that mad about it and then we got two different notebooks the first one is this one that says daily doodles on it and it's just like a blank notepad which I'm guessing are for your daily doodles and there's another one that's just purple stars and it's from sweet and slightly snarky paper goods so I think that this is a sticker and then we also got the bookmark that comes with every book that they talked about on it just to give you an idea of what you got we also got a pride and prejudice book band headband which I believe was in like an owl crate box a while ago but it's just a headband with like you know the writing of the book on it. I don't really wear headbands because I usually just wear toques. Like if you've been on my channel for a while, I always wear that like gray fox toque because I just think it's really cute. Now I have a headband and it's got bookish things on it. So maybe this is the excuse to actually wear a headband. I don't know. There is a handheld fan, which I don't know how to open. Oh wait, I figured it out. No, I didn't. Did not figure it out. Oh, there we go. The Lady Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. It says, you deserve to be here. You deserve to exist. You deserve to take up space in this world of men. Ooh, I actually really like that, to be honest. But yes, fun information thing for an event that they're hosting, which I'm really bummed about because I can't go to. But this book sounds really good. It's about this girl who has a dad who becomes a drag queen and it's like her trying to cope with it. And then her mother commits suicide, her trying to cope with that. Apparently it's like amazing. Pretty much everybody on the panel said that it was one of their favorite books that they read. But I have class during this time, so I can't go. And I'm really upset about it, but you guys can read that. Maybe you can go. We also got some loose leaf tea from David's Tea. I don't like tea, so I will most likely be giving this to my best friend, Abby, who I end up giving all of my tea to that I get from these events. It's raspberry cream pie and Caribbean crush. I ended up giving her a tea strainer one year for her birthday, so now I just give her all my tea because she likes that shit, and also a free cup of tea. And then we got a thebathbomb.ca bath bomb. This is lemon flavor. Personally, I'm freaked out by bath bombs because I just don't want all that up in my coochie. Probably just me. I'm weird, I know, but not a fan. So I think the last one that we got is still sitting in my mom's bathroom because I would just gave it to her and was like, you have this. Maybe I'll like put my feet in or something, but bath bombs creep me out, man. And then we also got two different bookmarks. This one says a book is a dream that you hold in your hand. I actually really like it and it's like metal so it's like heavy duty, really good quality. Then we also got a wooden bookmark. This one says summer was a book of hope. This is by Ink and Wonder which I think that their artwork is so pretty so I really like this one. I think that these are probably my two favorite items. And now for what everybody has been waiting for, the ARCs, which are super exciting this year, I think. They talked about so many books that like I really wanted, like Serpent and Dove was the one that I wanted so badly, but apparently there were only like 10 ARCs. I didn't see anybody in there who got it because I was going to trade like all of my books for it but didn't see anybody so did not get that book but that's okay that was the one that I like needed in my life it's fine. We had Jasmine Kaur one of the authors come to speak about her book she read a couple of the poetry that she wrote in it at the event I have a clip of that so you guys can see it but we ended up getting arcs for her book that's releasing when you ask me where I'm going and so she signed it to you if you wanted it signed which is super exciting it's like a mix of poetry and novel and illustrations and she drew all of the illustrations which is pretty cool I'm excited to pick this one up it comes out in October 2019 so soon i also got now entering adamsville by francesca zapia and this is like a historical ghost story kind of thing it says that it's stranger things meets buffy the vampire slayer and it's a contemporary novel but i read made her up by this author and i really enjoyed it i haven't read eliza and her monsters which i'm kind of bummed about because i really want to read that book the final cover is so much prettier than this i wonder if it's on yeah so this is the final cover of it and I think it's so pretty and then I also received the how and the why this is by Cynthia Hand I've read a couple Cynthia Hand books and really enjoyed them this is an adoption story there's like a company it's not a company but I can't remember the name 
of what it actually is where they have the mothers who are giving their children up for adoption write letters to their child and when they're 18 they receive the letters and they can like read and decide whether or not they want to like meet their parents blah 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 right so this is based off of the author's like experience wishing that her mother had done this for her apparently it's like a real life company it's not a company I can't remember what the name of the thing is Ashley from HTC Frenzy said that this was one of her favorites so and then I got A Treason of Thorns by Laura E. Weymouth and I just really like this cover I think it's really pretty this is a historical fantasy it says that it's dark and gripping and utterly unique I ended up having four arcs in my bag which we were only supposed to have three so I'm not really sure why I had four not that I'm complaining like because this one I'm really excited about it is Kingdom of Souls by Rena Baron, I have been having my eye on this book ever since I saw everybody getting the, that box of it and I've been like I need it. It sounds so good. It's about this girl who's the daughter of witch doctors but she doesn't end up having any magical abilities and it's like the story of that but I think it sounds so good. There's apparently a demon king. I'm just super here for this. I was so excited when I pulled this out of my bag. So that's the final arc that I got. So thank you for joining me for this trip. I am not 100% sure how terrible this vlog is going to be. I didn't really film that much at the event. Honestly, I was just super excited to be with Julia and Zoe. We have one picture that we got together. We take one every single year and I personally think we're just adorable. Thank you so much to HCC Frenzy for inviting me to this event. I have so much fun every year. I can't wait for the next one in February. Um, let me know down below if you guys are excited for any of these books and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.